Since I started making games in Godot, I've only been coding in GDScript, which is the most popular way of coding games in Godot, and obviously what most tutorials are gonna teach you. But as you know, there is another version of Godot Game Engine that also supports programming in C Sharp, which you can download from the official website. Now, I've never felt the need to switch to another programming language in Godot, but I kind of wanna try C Sharp since I've done some coding in C Sharp before and and honestly, I like the language. And so I was like, let's remake one of my previously made games on Godot, but this time write the logic completely with C Sharp. Now the cool thing about C Sharp is, it's kind of a language that is popular in the game engine industry. So if you're already working on a game engine that uses C Sharp, switching to Godot should not be a problem. Also, C Sharp has this C-like style, whereas GDScript uses indentations, which might be easier to read and write for beginners, and you don't need semicolons at the end of each statement. But honestly, I kinda like the C-like programming languages. I don't know, just the way they are makes you feel like you know what you're doing, even though you might not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and download the C Sharp version from the official Godot website. So like I said, instead of making the game from scratch, let's go ahead and open the project and rewrite each script in C Sharp. So this is a project that I made in one of my previous videos where I compared Godot's latest version to its oldest that I could find. This is just a simple game, nothing crazy. We have simple animations that are being controlled and played with an animation tree. We can jump and shoot and you can also change the weapons. So let's begin with the main character's script. The only things we do in the player script is looking, basically rotating the camera, walking and animation states. So it shouldn't really be difficult to convert. Well first, let's create our first C Sharp script. Also I configured Godot so it'll use Visual Studio Code as an external editor. That way we have code completion for C Sharp which makes it much easier to write code. So I'm not gonna pretend I know exactly what's going on here, but to test this out let's try to print out something. And so after building and running the game, we can see that this indeed works. You can also configure Visual Studio Code so that it builds or runs the game. So now let's implement a logic for walking. I'm going to do this in the physics process method, which didn't take much to make as it was basically the same except for some syntax differences. And by the way, I've never touched C Sharp in Godot and I was able to go through this part, no problems. And now we can see that we have the basic movements. Now, for some reasons, I couldn't export variables by just making them public. I had to use the export attribute and rebuild the project for them to show up. And so with that out of the way, I made the camera controller code, which was again mostly similar to the GDScript version. Also keep in mind that I had to use the mathf class for the mathematical operations like clamp and degrees to radians functions. And then after that, I added the jumping stuff and animation. So now we basically have a simple character controller with C Sharp. Now if you look at my variable names, you can see that I'm using the snake case format, which is usually used with the GD script. But in C Sharp, they generally use Pascal case. So I'm gonna change my variable names to go with the convention and also avoid getting yelled at in the comment section. Now because C Sharp code is compiled before running the game compared to GDScript which is interpreted, you need to be careful with types. For example, here you can see in GDScript I'm getting some variables from a node. It doesn't care what node or class I'm getting this from as long as these specific properties or methods exist in that node or class. But in C Sharp you must define the class that these properties exist on, otherwise it won't compile and it'll give you an error. So after that, I added the fire rate logic and animations for it, which was a pain and still isn't fully complete and has some issues, but we basically have control over the fire rate. This is something new that we didn't have in the previous versions. Also, I made it so that we can't shoot while airborne because I'm not feeling like changing the animation tree again. The other cool thing is that you can have both GD script and C Sharp scripts in the same game. If you quickly, let's say, want to test something in your game, you can have them both. Alright, so let's go ahead and make the enemy script now. 
all the enemy needs to do for now is to well look at the player and follow it. The looking part can easily be achieved with the look at method and then we'll make it so that it moves towards where it's looking. Next thing I did was create the logic for the projectile so it'll instantiate a ball when we click the left mouse button which again was mostly similar. And on the projectile script after the bullets instantiation from the gun script it has 8 seconds of lifetime to hit an enemy before it gets freed. I made this so the balls wouldn't just slow slow down the game. Now the other thing I have to say is that I really like the code auto completion in VS Code and basically with that out of the way I made the rest of the code in C Sharp and the game was complete and was working fine. Now I'll have to say that I really enjoyed this and I feel like the C Sharp code is kind of more clear to understand for me since you deal with types and classes more often. But again, I've done some object oriented programming before. And also, this is my second time writing this, so yeah. Also, you can write clean code in GDScript as well. But it kinda does allow you to be lazy. Also, C Sharp can have better performance in some cases compared to GDScript. Now, I'll probably stick with GDScript since I've been coding with it from the beginning. And also, GDScript is more beginner friendly, especially for tutorials. Also, because GDScript script just works. You want to add a quick feature, it just codes fast. Also, you can run the game without waiting for a compilation. Although I'll have to say the C Sharp compilation time was also really small. But let me know if you want more videos on C Sharp. And so thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. So stay tuned and subscribe.